So I know what you're thinking, because it's not quite the 1st of October. It's actually the final day of September, and we're already taking a look at all of the sets coming out in October. But my thoughts is if you're staying up to order any of these sets because you want to get in around midnight the day before, just to make sure you've got your sets. I don't think there's many sets that you'll be doing that for, but there's definitely a handful. So I'm going to post this a day early and hopefully we're not surprised by any gift with purchases or any other sets coming out last minute. I don't think we're expecting any more sets. Let me move that. I'm not quite sure if the bottle was in the camera there. But we're going to take a look at all of them anyway. There are a few here that are coming out later on in October. Hopefully I can catch on to these and tell you when they are coming out. But I think we just start off with the big release in October, Jabba's Sal Barge. And it's not actually coming out the 1st, which I hadn't realised. It says it's coming out the 6th of October. But if you are an insider, you get it as early as the 3rd. And this will also be coming out with a gift with purchase. It's Luke's lightsaber from Return of the Jedi. It's the second Luke lightsaber gift with purchase we've got. We got his one from A New Hope, which is technically Anakin's lightsaber. It's also Rey's lightsaber. It would have been great to have got a interchangeable plaque with that. The only exclusive piece is the plaque. It does look pretty cool. But for Jabba's Sal Barge, it's actually quite a decent set. I've been stewing on this since I made the video. There's a few things I personally don't like, like the interior. I understand you need somewhere for Jabba, you need somewhere for the figures. It's basically a glorified kitchen anyway. The I think it was called the Katana Jabba's Sal Barge. I'm sure if I'm wrong, someone will correct me in the comments. And I think there's also a third interior section. Let's see if we can get a closer image. So we've got the kitchen here. I don't know why I'm using my left hand for the mouse. We've got a deck with a cannon, which does look pretty cool. There are a few studs dotted around for minifigures, and we'll get onto the minifigures in a minute. There are two separate displays, one with Jabba and the plaque, which honestly, I thought was all we were getting, and then we get a second one with the minifigures. It doesn't seem like we can get any closer looks at the interior, so we'll have to do with this picture. I'll try and zoom in on the screen. There are cells or something in the third section, which of course I assume is probably where they held. It's not where they hold prisoners because they were on the other skiffs going out. We see in Return of the Jedi Jabba's Sal Barge with two skiffs side by side. So I'm not quite sure what exactly that is, but there's also the band at the back. We've got Max Rebo playing solo. It's a really good set. It's a higher price but it is meant to be for display. And it's nice that Lego are including things like a kitchen, like an interior onto the display. But let's get on to the minifigures. Again, I don't think there's a closer look at the minifigures. We've got a few of these real life images. I say it like that because they're not real life. They are, well, actually they are more close ups, but a lot of these real life images, you can sometimes tell by the shadows. They are edited images. They haven't taken this set in this landscape. They've just taken a picture of the landscape, they've cropped the set in, and I don't know if it is artificially done. I assume not. I assume the landscape does exist, or the room in this case, but the sets are never actually put in. I think there was one of the yacht, and the woman that was sat there, her arm was like through the sail of the yacht, something like that that I pointed out in a previous video. It's a great set, we don't get a close-up of the minifigures, but we get a ton. We get a Bib Fortuna who is new. A lot of people have been saying this is the same one from the Book of Boba Fett. The face and the Leku are the same, but the torso and legs are actually completely different. They have brand new printing, which is nice from Lego because they could have just whacked the same minifigure in. They did it with Boba Fett, and that is meant to accompany this set, so I wouldn't have been surprised. We also get... I'm not going to remember the names. We get Woof, Klaatu, and I can't remember the third one, but I'll have it on screen now. Great to see more henchmen in LEGO. Two of these are brand new. One of them we have got before. We also get the return of Max Rebo. The Star Wars community, the LEGO Star Wars community, is over the moon with it, which is interesting because Max Rebo seems to be... I think the head is a slightly different colour to the last one. But besides that, he seems to be the exact same minifigure. So it's a fan favourite. It's a bit like Darth Jar Jar. Lego have really been giving us all the characters we want. We get the return of Princess Leia or Hutt Slayer Leia. 
I don't know why people are giving her a different name. She's Princess Leia, she's Princess Leia on the box, she's Princess Leia on the website. We don't refer to Leia as Bespin Leia when we're talking about her in a Cloud City set. That is the name of her costume, so as an identifier it's fair enough. But I haven't watched a single review that's just referred to her as Princess Leia, or at least not one that I remembered anyway. So I do apologize if there's a big creator that has called her Princess Leia and I've just overlooked it. But Princess Leia is pretty cool. I really like the dual molded legs. We complain in Star Wars about not getting dual molded legs and then they give it on a character like Leia who I think it does suit quite well and everyone complains. All I'm saying is you can't complain next time we don't get Grand Admiral Thrawn with dual molded legs or a Rebel Trooper because Lego are putting them in an expensive set and getting complaints, it's sending mixed signals, a bit like the instructions. But the Gamorrean is the same minifigure we've got before. R2, pretty cool. I believe it's an identical R2 to the one we're back printing with the added tray for Jabba Salvage. So not an exclusive minifigure, but it will come up as exclusive on Bricklink. Pretty easy to part out. Salacious B Crumb, missing the pupils, which is very very interesting. I think they're the only one in this set. And then we got Jabba with pupils. I was expecting them to pair up Salacious B. Crumb and Jabba, but giving one pupils and the other, there's a few little nitpicks with this set for sure. But I think Lego have now this £430 bit pricey. The pieces and the weight of it, I'm sure, is there. It looks massive. I watched a video of Shy Time building this. It is giant. I don't know where I would personally, I have nowhere to display this. There is no chance of me picking up this set. But who knows, when we hit 10k, I'm considering this up against the Razor Crest. Not just for the minifigures, but for the actual build itself, it just looks so good. But again, the Razor Crest also looks pretty good. So perhaps we can do a poll on it. Let's look at all the other sets because there are a ton of sets coming out a lot more than I expected. We've got a look at Santa's post office. This is coming out October the 4th. Why are we getting releases the 3rd, the 4th, the 6th, the 1st? I wouldn't be surprised if much like the recent Pharrell Williams rocket, is it Pharrell? I think it is based on one of the new, I think it's brick by brick or piece by piece uh, movie that's come out because Lego and Universal had a license or had some sort of agreement for the past decade or so. They've done nothing with it and have decided to come out with a movie. 90 pound, very expensive. Perhaps we'll take a look at it at the end of the video, but you're basically just paying for a bunch of heads that you can get for dirt cheap on the build and minifigure station. I mean, it's like six, seven quid for 15 heads. You're getting about, I would say about 90 for the price of it in the set. It's not gonna cost you that on the BAM station, but Santa's post office looks amazing. I watched Tiago, Tiago Caterino review this set the functions behind it are truly wonderful. I definitely recommend going over and checking out that video. I will try and link it on screen for you if I can find it because the Mal system here is really cool. You can put letters in either the higher balloon. Just go watch the video if you do want to find out. There's a few different, like a workshop in the attic, different scenes that they've created with this. Santa's got his naughty and nice list which rather than putting names on it because we were meant to get a gift we purchased a few years back they had some naughty and nice names and for some reason lego just pulled it last minute it still got sent to creators i think to review on the LAN network or it still got out some way but we never saw it as far as an official lego gift we've purchased so what they've done instead of putting names on it is i don't know if i can get a close up they've just put tallies under the good and bad side. That is a letter, that's not what we're looking for. I don't think I'll be able to find an image. No, that's another letter, but you have to take my word for it. They've just put tallies underneath it. The hot air balloon itself does light up. You can see there's a fire in the middle. If you press down the fencing element on top, it lights up the flame. I think that's cool. 90 pound, that's quite an affordable set. I mean, if we're looking at pieces, 1,400, and 40 that's definitely worth it if you're a fan of lego star wars this is deal of the century i was definitely considering getting this one myself but i've got nowhere to start a winter village we got a star wars section a city section a harry potter a minecraft i'd have to get rid of one of the four for a well not one of the four the harry potter and the minecraft is actually my fiance so i wouldn't be able to touch that i'd have to get rid of either my lego city which i really do enjoy working on 
or the Star Wars mock. Not much of a Star Wars mock, I might admit. I need to start working on that and perhaps next year we'll have the space to build a winter village. But this is a really good set. I might buy it to put away for next year if there is some promo or discount over the holidays or if this goes on sale and is still in stock. But insiders do get this from the 1st of October. I've seen the little logo bottom right. It's nice that this is available the 1st of October because at the minute, two sets, neither of them are unless you're inside it. There's a reef and there is also a candle. We'll get onto that in a minute. The reef looks pretty cool. It definitely looks like the values there. I feel like it's gonna be a bit bigger than it looks. Now, when you look at it next to the poinsettia, it's double the price and it doesn't look double the size, but I think it's actually gonna be two, three, maybe even four times the size just because of the leaf elements round in the circle. It's hollowed out. I feel like you could put this plant in the middle of the reef, but both of them look good, but you probably want to know about the other Star Wars set coming out October the 1st. The Imperial Dropship Rebel Scout Speeder. I've already mocked this together. The models are somewhere and that's not good that I can't find them, but I have done a video building this based on how I think the set's going to be. So I could always when it comes out. The building instructions don't tend to be out on October the 1st, but they're not out too long after. So I could always take a look, see how close I was, and probably just part out the pieces that I need. That's a great idea for a video. I never did it with Chopper, who it seems I have no idea where I put my models. Chopper's no longer behind me, but I didn't do it with Chopper, seeing how accurate I was. But the only thing I had differently done to Lego was the axles connecting the legs. I'd actually done it with a stud technique, so weren't as secure as Legos, but that's definitely something I can do and then compare them to whatever model you choose to review on Sunday. Not much for Star Wars, that isn't usually in October. I cannot wait for the January releases. And if you do wanna join the conversation and talk about leaks, become a member, you get access to the Discord and we're talking quite a bit about them over on there we've also got the magic of disney which is a lego idea set still no news on the pixar lamp i saw about a week ago everyone was making videos on the fact that we're getting a pixar lamp just saying i was here months ago when they announced it maybe not months ago that's a big exaggeration but i'm really looking forward to see how the i think it's luxo junior lamp is coming along this set does look cool. I love the way Mickey looks. People have been complaining about his mouth, the lack of a mouth. I think this is his mouth at the bottom. I don't know if we can get a closer image. Not great images, but I think this is meant to be his mouth. It sort of looks like an open mouth. I think if they printed a mouth on, what I'm trying to say is it just look a little bit weird. But I do like how Mickey looks and all the different characters. We're getting Bruno but we're not gonna talk about Bruno. We're getting Belle, we're getting, I think Simba's also new. I know Sebastian and Flounder aren't exclusive, like the brooms aren't exclusive. We're getting Geppetto, I always get his name wrong, but from Pinocchio, which is cool. We're getting Lilo as well. Every time we get Lilo and Stitch in Lego or most other collectible toys, it's usually Stitch, but this time we're getting Lilo, which is really cool on a surfboard, I believe. That dress piece is a one by two brick, which is a very interesting way. I guess it saves them trying to create an exclusive piece for a brick tall dress piece. So it does work. It's in place of short legs and it's gonna be interesting to see how everyone else thinks about this when it's out. But again, the price is pretty decent, 90 pound. You get a bit less than the Christmas village but you are the post office but you are getting three four minifigures four exclusive minifigures potentially i don't think we've seen any of these before at least not in lego minifigure form we've seen them in mini doll form it's a great set and another one that you know if money wasn't a problem i'd definitely be tempted to buy now one that that's kind of not true for is the Mario and Yoshi. It looks great, don't get me wrong, and there is the feature of Yoshi's legs moving and then Yoshi's tongue sticks out, I think. Yeah, there we go. Yoshi's tongue does stick out, but I, I don't see this being something that's played for option. The fact that the handle is out at the front and can't be hidden, well, it can be hidden if it's turned on its side like this. I think 
The handle would have been better hidden behind it so that it looks nice and neat from the front on display. But then again, I don't think this is the sort of set that is aimed for me. So that is definitely going to be a miss. Like the Batman Batmobile, I quite like this, but I do think I'm a bigger fan of the recent animated series one. <laughs> That's probably because I haven't watched this classic Batman and have started watching the animated series. So there's probably a lot of animation bias there, but it's a nice model. It does come with a Batman minifigure, which is exclusive to the set. It's a blue, well, it's the classic version of Batman, but it's similar to the one that came in the animated series Batmobile with Harley Quinn and Mr. Freeze. And I think we're getting the black costume in a magazine sometime soon. So it'd be interesting to see if they ever do the same with this or whack it in a poly bag because DC exclusive minifigures don't tend to stay exclusive for long if they were exclusive in the first place. So it'll be very interesting to see if this Batman specifically does remain exclusive. All right, now we're getting into, I see a few mini doll sets. So we're gonna fire through the Santa's delivery truck looks cool. I was expecting this to be a gift with purchase with the winter post office, the Christmas post office. I keep thinking of a winter village and forget what the set's actually called. And it might be a gift with purchase, but it looks also to be some sort of set. I always get confused because the 4.0 sets tend to be gift with purchases and sometimes they whack them on the coming soon, sometimes they don't. I'm gonna assume it's a gift with purchase, but I just like the fact that every year Lego make a brand new tree, be it for the Winter Village or for a similar set like the Snow White Cottage, something like that. They always come out with a brand new tree design using brand new elements and you just can't help but be impressed by everything they do. Something with the Lego site is annoying is when you click on a set such as this giant big fig of a mini doll and back out, it takes you back to the top. I'd love it if they took you back to exactly where you were just for the purpose of editing this video, but I'm nitpicking at the Lego site now. The Wednesday Adams figure and the Alphabet Glinda figure, which seems to have disappeared from our screen do look really cool i am a massive fan of these giant mini doll like characters and they don't take up many pieces i would have liked to seen a few more pieces it's the same argument i have with the brick heads but i guess it makes them more fragile and it's easier to print a piece than it is to try and get the detail out with some lego studs but i'd really like to see some smaller like they did with hermione and harry and I think there was another brick built figure. I'd like to see some more of them, especially in Star Wars. I am surprised they haven't gone with Boba Fett, with Vader, with Luke Skywalker even. If we got a Luke Skywalker, I guess it wouldn't match up to the lightsaber, but what would look really cool is if they included Luke's hand with the lightsaber, just as a funny little side build. But we've also got Shadow the Hedgehog's head to match up with the new Sonic movie coming out, Sonic 3. This does come out the 1st of October. I believe the movie's coming out closer towards Christmas. So perhaps if you've got a Sonic fan that you're buying presents for, this will be the perfect gift. I think it looks pretty cool, but I'm a bit surprised they haven't done a Sonic and Shadow. Perhaps they were too similar of a build to include both of them together. But if they did want to include the same structure and just give us, I mean, this whole part of his face at the front is one piece. They could give us a different color for Sonic and perhaps have it as a two in one, which would be also pretty cool. We've got the baby pig's birthday celebration. I'll just cover all the mini dolls things. I think they look cool. I'm excited for Wicked and I did enjoy the Wednesday show, but they're not really of interest to me. Baby pig's birthday celebration, however, is a set that I think my fiance will definitely be liking because she does have, I believe the creeper build is the exact same as the last one. She does have a few of them. We've got the creeper here. We've got the baby zombie. Again, the baby zombies a little different, mainly on the legs. I guess they've had different colors released and also the head is two-toned. It looks dark green to light green, well, a lighter green than this one, which is just pure dark green. A bit like the Creeper, I guess, with the two tones of green running throughout. And there's definitely some differences in the different tiles that have been used, but it's mostly the same. So they'll look quite good 
together we've also got the pig which this comes with a baby pig which i think is the one celebrating its birthday or celebrating minecraft's birthday and then we also have an axolotl or a cat i think this is an axolotl and we get a baby axolotl in the set so it does pair up with a load of the previous bigger characters for minecraft i think we've also had steve and alex and a few other actual characters which would have been nice to have seen a character releasing alongside this for those who didn't pick up the last one perhaps even get a different skin for steve i don't know if minecraft are releasing any exclusive skins this year that people can download but it would have been nice to have included that but we get so many different animals as mentioned the creeper baby zombie perhaps they could have switched out the both of them for a party skin because they're not exactly celebration mobs as i recall they tend to be quite hostile but we get the baby alpaca or llama the baby fox the baby oshala and also the cake which does break up into i think three chunks which is really cool to see i know minecraft are no stranger to include in these Features such as the Magma Cube actually split as you were jumping it along. A really great set and definitely one I'm going to consider picking up because I do really like the look of it. Now on to the second page. We have a Brickhead for Wednesday and Enid from the Wednesday series. That's pretty cool, but my attention is caught by Celeste here. Now if you aren't a fan of Animal Crossing, you'll have no idea what I'm talking about for the next minute. But Celeste is very, very similar to Blathers, so perhaps... Releasing Celeste in a cheaper set, which $8.99, I'm a fan of these $8.99 sets. This year, I picked up a bunch of them. I think I picked up the Marvel $8.99 one in January, which I think these are coming out January 1st. We're onto the January 1st releases. So all the Animal Crossing sets and the Mario Kart sets we'll be looking over are coming out January 1st. And the Sonic ones are also coming out. January 1st. I think we've got all but one of the Sonic ones officially released, or at least we're rumoured to be getting another one, and then we will also be taking a look at another set towards the end. I think it was the spaceship we'll take a look at after these, and then I'll wrap up and give a few more thoughts on the other sets, but because we're getting Celeste in a cheap set, they could definitely use the same mould for Blavers. We might be getting a Blavers Museum in the summer or closer towards March, May time when the set's released this year which will be really really cool to see we do get an able sisters clothing shop which goes nicely with the other community buildings that we might be getting and have already got in the animal crossing theme and you can really just build out your town your island for your animal crossing display i haven't played it enough to know if there is a caravan in animal crossing but it's nice to add a few we got a plane or the boat plane and I think that is it in terms of vehicles, but the caravan is really cool to add. No, I think that I think we got a boat as well at some point. So it's nice to see another vehicle, especially if it does show up later on in Animal Crossing. Mario Kart, I, I can't say I'm not disappointed with Mario Kart. I really did wish they would be minifigure scale. We've seen a few custom minifigure makers out there make Mario, Luigi, and a few of the common characters. So I might just have to buy some of these and see if we can shrink them down to minifigure scale. But I think my old Mario Kart mop still holds up against these. Mario Kart Yoshi bike, $12.99. Is it worth $12.99? Should it have been an $8.99 set? I mean, you can argue the pieces are definitely there. A load of small pieces. But I can't help but feeling like if you got rid of the cones and... I guess you'd probably have to sacrifice the accessories and I'm a big fan of all the accessories coming in this set. We get the banana, the question mark, we get the green shell, the red shell. I'm not quite sure what the cones are for, but the cones with the other sets we'll take a look at in just a second. Do help to build more of a track rather than supplying like train track pieces and stuff like that for Mario Kart because that would make these so expensive and I think Lego are aware that most people are buying these for the characters to display and not for the actual mechanisms of the set themselves. Even though this does work with the interactive sets because you can see a QR code on top of this brick, so I'll have to look for a 2x2 two two that is plain for my display. It comes with another colour of Yoshi Blue. Have we got blue before? I know I've got pink and yellow in my collection and there are a bunch of colours. Well, I don't even own a green one, but I do like how Yoshi as a bike is looking. His arms are sort of flailing out to the side we get the eyes on the front of the bike this is definitely a set 
I've got to pick up. Again, $12.99, a bit steeper than $9.99. I would have definitely preferred it at the lower price, but you'll see in the other sets, we do get a few different garage accessories. No Mario with Mario standard cut. You do still have to buy the standard starter pack, but I do like the fact they've even made a cart that fits Donkey Kong. So you should be able to fit all your characters, including Bowser, in these carts. We get a baby Mario and Luigi if you don't own a interactive Mario and Luigi. And I think this comes with a baby Peach. It does indeed. So we're getting a load of the popular Mario Kart characters. And as you've seen, quite a few of these come with some form of accessory, be it a target, be it balloons for one of the mini games, the cones do help build out the track, but it does seem the Yoshi bike is the only one that comes with cones. So now I'm really questioning the fact we got some cones, but you can definitely build out the tracks with them. And onto Sonic, we have Super Shadow and Super Sonic versus a Bio Lizard, which is nice if you don't want to be buying the expensive 70 odd pound set for the Super Sonic. You get Super Sonic and Super Shadow, really, really nice, as well as the Bio Lizard build, which does look really cool. And if you are starting out into the Sonic theme, You've got Sonic's Campfire Clash, which comes with two... It comes with two G-U-N robots. One, a beetle robot, and one is the hunter as well. It comes with a little turtle as well, I think, inside of one of them. I remember seeing the back of the box. If we can bring that up, you can see we do get a little character to put in the bot. We also get a starter, a launcher, which I have the one with the star design on it, but in the Supersonic set, it comes in yellow because they are yellow minifigures. It's odd to see the yellow one coming in this set as we just get the regular Sonic, but there is a big theme of yellow and red throughout this set. So perhaps they decided there's enough red, we'd go with the yellow one instead. It looks pretty cool. I'm a big fan of this feature as well. If you haven't tried it out, I recommend picking up this set and trying it for yourself. You can fit any minifigure you want. You can even whack someone like C-3PO in there if you really wanted and have 3 po rolling across the Empire. It's a great play feature and you can spend hours just playing with it. I think I even launched it over a few different items in a video testing it out, which is really, really cool. It's like the stunt bikes as well, only of course themed to Sonic and you can fit any minifigure. I like the bikes in the blue orb. So let's see if we can find the rocket. So it is Pharrell Williams. I believe that's who I said earlier. Over the moon with Pharrell Williams based on the, it's kind of based on the movie. I don't think this actually shows up in the movie. I know a few members of LAN have seen the movie early and I think I recall someone saying it didn't show up in the movie, but it was sort of present. It's not like Pharrell's gonna be driving around town in a rocket, but it probably shows up for one scene to promote the set, but the big grab is the heads. A row of seven, is that seven rows of seven? So we get 51 heads, including Pharrell and his partner, which is nice that they made them the minifigure. The heads aren't specifically referencing anyone. Loads of people have been trying to find out which famous people or who Pharrell knows the heads are representing. They're just whacked in there by Lego. I would assume there's probably some element of choice where they got to pick what heads are used. Some of these are unique to the set, never seen before potentially coming out in brand new sets. It'd be nice to see out of all of the figures heads that haven't come out in sets before. How many of these link up to a few rumors in Lego perhaps, or a few other sets we can be expecting? And over the course of the next year or so, how many of these heads are no longer exclusive? I have to try and remember this, come back in a year or two's time and see just how many of the heads actually remain exclusive. There'll probably be one or two from, I don't know if the set designers would have put their likeness on a figure. That would be a cool little Easter egg, but I'm sure there's one or two. I just don't think all of these are going to stay exclusive. 966 pieces, 94.99, not bad, but you definitely pay more for the heads. If you get rid of the heads, that's a lot of pieces just for that little display alone. But I think it's really cool how the rocket does stand on its own. I was really cautious about this because they've changed the image that's put it up. This originally was on a bookcase and it looked like the rocket was leaning against the wall. At least that was the original image. Perhaps that was the first one. Ah, it was this image here. It looks like it's leaning up against the back of the unit. 
and I assumed it just wouldn't be able to hold itself, but it actually does. And you can see it's on a table. I've seen a few reviews now of it just balancing. How it balances is really, really smart. I'm not going to spoil it. If you would like to know, I'm sure you can watch a review of it. But it's a pretty pricey set for just a rocket. I'm not sure if there are any other rockets available on lego.com. If we just type in rocket, we've of course got the NASA one. We've got a few smaller ones, a few bigger ones. It doesn't seem like there is a reasonable sized rocket on display. I could have sworn that there is a space one. So the Pharrell Williams set is £95, which comes with a rocket. Obviously, if you are a fan of Pharrell Williams or a fan of the movie, you will be wanting to pay that out. But if you just want a rocket, you can get a three pack with a little poly bag. The poly bag's pretty cool. I like this vehicle. I have opened that on the channel. We've also got the construction mech, which I currently have in my Brickling store, parted out but all the parts are still there and a Lego City rocket. The rocket doesn't look too, it's probably a bit less long, if that makes sense, but it doesn't look any slimmer. It looks the same width as the Pharrell Williams one. You could definitely modify this to fit a second minifigure there. In terms of play, I don't think a second minifigure is going to make all that much of a difference. So it's nice that Lego do have a cheaper one out. We can't fault the Pharrell Williams one on that it's definitely meant for the collector personally i'm not a fan but let me know what you think in the comments and if you're a fan on any of these sets let me know in the comments drop a like on the video if you did enjoy are you picking up anything today or are you planning on over the course of october a few releases sprinkled out we've seen that a lot recently especially last month there was the burrow i think that came out a few days later, which definitely lessens the crowds in Lego stores. So I bet all the employees are pretty proud of what Lego are doing. But thank you so much for making it to the end of the video. Check out all the videos on screen now. And as always, may the bricks be with you.